Labor Day weekend is nearing. Millions of Americans are planning on traveling both near and far from home. Definitely hard to believe it's already Labor Day, but because of a recent surge in COVID-19 cases, though, there are some new recommendations in place. Our Noah Kaplan has more on that. And Noah, what did you find? Well, Zach and Cammie, the CDC issued new recommendations for unvaccinated Americans ahead of this Labor Day weekend. However, it may not slow down businesses and travel as much as the health experts urge against non-essential trips. If you get on an airplane and you travel and you go through airports and you're going to restaurants and you're doing all of the other things that that kind of travel involves, you're simply increasing the spread. For the unofficial last weekend of summer, millions of Americans are once again set to travel far and wide. A Mayo Clinic expert is fervently urging against it. Don't do it. I know that many people will ignore that. With every major travel holiday, we have seen a surge and an increase in cases and spread of the virus. The current CDC guidance? A strong recommendation that Americans be vaccinated ahead of their travels. Poland highly advises masking in addition to vaccination and says some kinds of travel are fairly safe for family. There are different kinds of travel, right? If you're going to travel by your car to see grandma two hours away and everybody's vaccinated, I don't have a problem with that. In spite of these concerns, the urge to travel by many remains strong. Sectors of tourism that did well, as well as destinations that did well in the summer, are expecting to see that kind of traffic come through again in fall. The rise in COVID cases and the Delta variant are causing some decrease in consumer confidence. However, it's not putting the brakes on travel like it did a year ago. Explore Minnesota echoed a point made by Poland in that car trips and outdoor activities continue to be very popular. Scenic driving and outdoor recreation and Harvest related festivals and activities are a great way to still get out and do something in a safer fashion. Kispert of Explore Minnesota also noted that businesses are much better prepared with their hygienic practices than a year ago. She urged travelers and customers to be patient with businesses as the ongoing worker shortage is complicating many establishments. Cami and Zach, back to you in the studio. All right, some good advice there. And